What's up, you guys? It's Ness. Before we get this video started, I just wanted to say that I'm not a professional on anything that I'm talking about in this video. This is simply some brotherly advice based on things that I'm doing or have done, and um, I feel like it could help you get your shit together. So with that being said, let's get the episode started. All right, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about legalizing your business and why you should legalize your business if you haven't already. Um, I'm not going to really talk about when you should legalize your business because it's completely up to you, but I just want to tell you guys about legalizing your business and why you should. So, yeah. So first and foremost, I've invested thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure we all have, right? Um, but when I look at, you know, the end of the year and look at what I've spent, um, I'm not recouping any of, the, any of that money because my business isn't legalized and um, I haven't kept proper bookkeeping of my expenses and what went out towards, you know what I'm saying, my photography business and whatever business I'm doing. That's one of the key reasons why legalizing your business is so important. You know what I'm saying? Legalizing your business is so important because in the midst of buying all these expensive lenses, all these expensive cameras, um, you know, just plug-ins and retouching and it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? You invest in a lot, your website, you know, costs and fees, you know, you want to legalize your business. So that way you'll be able to write this stuff off. You'll be able to, uh, you know, recoup some of your investments. You know what I'm saying? So uh, take it from somebody that hasn't been able to recoup anything because I've been doing this for three years. And this year I actually just legalized my business because as you start making more money and as you progress as a professional, uh, there's certain things that you will need to do to make sure that, you know, you're getting your maximum return on your investments you understand um even if that is your business so <clears throat> well especially your business legalizing your business will like just help you save money in the long run and it also will uh give you a paper trail um when you don't have one because as an entrepreneur we may not have paper trails we may not have um you know um pay stubs and stuff like that so keeping you know bookkeeping and legalizing your business and having someone to bookkeep or you keep bookkeeping your businesses um, will definitely uh, help you in the long run when it's time for you to get a car, a house, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, there's a bunch of different ways that you can legalize your business. Um, I would highly recommend that you get with somebody that knows what they're doing and knows what you're talking about. Uh, sometimes you can't Google these things, but Google doesn't always give you exactly what you need for your, you know, specific, I mean, for what you're trying to do. So, you want to reach out to a professional that's tailored to handle the questions and the tasks that you're trying to set forth and get done. So uh, I would highly recommend you reach out to a professional and, um, you know what I mean, get, get that started, definitely. You know, in the beginning, when I first started, I didn't really know which route I wanted to go. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know if I was really taking photography seriously. I didn't know if I was taking barbering uh, seriously. And I still have an LLC, my barber business, and I took mad losses on that. Yes, I had a lot of cash. and. You know what I'm saying? Like even with photography, yes, I had a lot of this stuff coming in, a lot of money coming in, but at the same time, um, I had a lot of money going out too. And it stayed out because I didn't legalize business. You know, in the beginning where you might not know if you want to take your craft seriously, you might not legalize your business. Uh, you might change the name. You might do a bunch of different things. But at some point, um, when you start realizing that you're really dumping mad bread into what you're doing, you're going to want to legalize your business so that way you can save money. And just, you know what I'm saying? avoid paying uncle sam so much taxes like i don't know it's really like robbery but you know what i'm saying we live in america so that's what we got to do you know what i'm saying so once you have your business legalized you want to you know what i'm saying put together either a vanilla folder or you want to keep it on your computer somewhere i like having hard copies of whatever i'm doing at the moment um you want to get a folder and put all your documents in there that way you know you know exactly where to look you know exactly where to find everything everything from the department of the treasury to the beneficial owners to the you know like this stuff might take like a, a hot little minute to get it situated but you can literally get this done in a day you know what i'm saying i got it done in a couple days <laughs> but uh you can literally get it done in a day you just have to sit down lock in and get it done you know what i'm saying uh it's really, I think I say this in every video, every Talks from Ness, it's only going to benefit you. You know what I'm saying? I tell you guys uh, things that I'm currently doing or going through, and uh, I tell you things that I know for certain can help somebody else out, you know? Um, so, you know, for, you know, some of you guys may have done this already. Some of you guys may be able to put me on game on certain things that I need to be doing to make sure that I do. 
Um, but for the majority that um, haven't even begun to have this conversation or have anybody to have this conversation with, this is why I make these videos because I just want to educate the masses on things that I wasn't properly raised and taught. So yeah, now you may have some people uh, telling you that, hey, no, do it this way first, do it this way first. I'm gonna tell you, make yourself as legit as possible. So when it comes time for you to bust certain moves, you can do that with no problem because you have all the paperwork, you have all the credentials. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, being a, having a name for yourself and being able to shoot this brand, this person, this that's cool. But on the back end, you need to have the business solidified. You need to have certain things in stone. So that way you just, you just feel good. You know, not, not even good. You just, you just, you can sleep easy at night knowing that your business is your business. It's literally like taken care of. Make, make yourself as legit as possible. You know what I'm saying? Go legit. You know what I'm saying getting money under the table is cool, but make sure everything is documented so that way you guys can take advantage, you know? And um, with doing that stuff, a, a whole bunch of other benefits come with legalizing your business and just making sure everything is uh, how it needs to be. Another great way to stay on top of your books, if you haven't already, you should be keeping another vanilla folder with your receipts and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So this folder right here contains all the receipts for different things that I've purchased and uh, for the year so far. And, um, you know, for the actual physical copy receipts, what I do is all my online purchases, I actually like print out uh, the invoice and I just save it in a vanilla folder just in case. Um, there's also apps that you can use to do your bookkeeping. I use Waves. You could take a picture and um, it'll upload the, it'll take all the information from the receipt and store it, store it for you already, or you can man manually input it. I wish I, I don't even say I would, I wish I would have knew this earlier because the knowledge was out there. I was just ignorant to it. I don't want you guys to be as ignorant as, as I was. Yes, you can make a lot of money, but you can't, yo, I've spent so much money. X amount of dollars went out and you look at the margin of profit and it's not exactly where you want it to be. There's like, there's like caveats to that. At this time around, I want everything to be on the books. You understand what I'm saying? So I really felt compelled to make this video because I know for a fact people are taking L's just like I was taking L's. You know what I'm saying? When you have the proper knowledge to get certain shit taken care of, then it just makes life easier. But when you don't have the knowledge, you just do a lot of dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Not even dumb shit, but just like a lot of shit that you don't know about. You don't have the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So so I think that's about it for my Talks with Ness episode for the day. Uh, just to, you know, reiterate what I said in the beginning of the episode, I am not a professional at any of this. This is just like some brotherly advice that I wish somebody else would have given me. And as I get older, I'm taking heed and paying attention to more things as I'm trying to make my first million. But that's it. I'm done talking. You know, I can sit here and rant for hours, but it don't be the ranting part. It'd be the editing part that be, you know, making these videos shorten up a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's it. Peace. Go legalize your business if you haven't already. You know what I'm saying? Or do what you want. Or don't. You know what I'm saying? It's your money. But yeah. <laughs>